Hi everyone, I'm Stephen from our small home adventure and this is Grace. <laughs> this is our first video, so you have to bear with us. I'm going to be attempting to make a quail brooder. We already have a chicken brooder, but we've just hatched quail and the quail chicks are this big. So the chicken brooder would have buried them. So I'm going to attempt to make this into a quail breeder brooder. This is the, the heat plate that's going to go in, but obviously it doesn't fit at the moment. So let's get started. So there's the final product. Okay. So let's see if it works. I got this tub from Wilco's. It cost me ten pound. Yeah, ten pound. Well, hopefully it'll last all our quail breeding lives. That. Ah, right. Need to make a little notch in the top there for the wire to come out for the brooder. But apart from that, looks pretty slick. Right. Sort that wire problem out and we'll get the quail in. Okay, back to the drawing board. Rookie mistake. This is one of our waterers and the new brooder is half that size, so it won't fit. So now I'm gonna to have to make a custom waterer out of, hopefully, an empty creatine capsule bottle and an empty peanut butter tub. So here we go. So hopefully that is as simple as that. The water won't come above the side of this because the holes don't come above the side of this and it's hopefully shallow enough that they won't drown. And I'll get all that creatine powder out of there because we don't want them growing too big. <laughs> so we'll go give it a go. Right, here's our custom made brooder. So the water works, thank God. There's the chick comb for them and the brooder there. And here's the, the little guys that are going to be going in. I can see that on the video. Oh, there they are, look. Can't wait to get out. So we'll start doing that now. All right, the brooder's not quite up to temperature yet, so I just thought I'd show you around our breeding pen while we wait and do that, so. This is our nursery or breeding room, whatever it is at the minute. These are all meat chickens, Ross cobs or Cornish cross, whatever, you know, that's with a few rogue ducklings in there. And there's Grace's pet, which she had to keep. Mm. So these ones are our breeding quail. This is a no waste feeder. I think I got the idea of Living Traditions Homestead off YouTube. Because they waste a hell of a lot of food. This is just a... Pull out trays to clean them. 
and the really dirty animals. This side they've got a, a dust bath with a bit of privacy. They like to keep themselves clean. And a Japanese quill. So they'll go in the brooder in the house for a couple of weeks and then we'll transfer them into this one until they're big enough to either process for the freezer or become breeders and go in this pen for that. We've got some Brahmas and a rough where uh, Welsham across whatever it is and a couple of the road island red cross whatever they are i don't know what we're going to do with them yet that was a bit of an experiment and this pen is empty at the minute for our next chicks which are in the other incubator and this is a big pen for when the meat birds are up because they grow like crazy they'll go in here before we transfer them outside so that's our little nursery setup right let's get these little guys in get the driest driest ones oh my god they're tiny touching they're tiny oh yeah we've got to really show them the water so that they know where they can get a drink and then oh come on yeah. there's a heat under there my god they're tiny <laughs> <laughs> they want to squash it can I put it under? Yeah, you were small hands. Oh. You're under? Yeah. Let's have a look, see if we can see. Oh, that's all right. Hello. Oh, Wait, we need to get it in front. I think you better do it, your hands right. are smaller than mine, aren't you? Wait, you need to open that then. No. Oh. Just get the driest one. Tell me which one. There, this one here at the front. This yeah, that one, one there. Yeah, get it. Sure it's it's all right, oh my god, I can't hold it. Come here. Be careful, you need to get water. Come on. I'll do. Yeah. Be careful. There you go. So small. Why does it? Mum, don't that mean? Okay. So that's the more, well, that's the, the driest ones in. I mean, look at the size of them. Like They're them? tiny. Pretty cool. Right, let's get the lid on. Yeah, and yeah, press on. Mm. Watch it. Put on. Not sure. Why is it wonky? A new home for a week or so. And that's our first ever quail hatch. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any comments, please leave them below and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.